Hey folks, welcome back to this short episode of Laser Engraving 911. This is a demonstration video because I get asked a lot of questions on which kind of laser cleaner can remove white paint from automobiles. So I figured I'd do a demonstration showing you how a pulsed fiber laser cleaner can remove white paint with ease without, and here's the key word, without harming the substrate underneath. While the other laser cleaner shown in my other video, the BLC 2000, can remove white paint, it throws so much power and it has no pulse modulation that it can actually hurt the substrate underneath. But when you're using a pulsed fiber laser, like the LC100, this is a 100 watt pulsed fiber laser, it actually can be fine tuned to just remove the paint and actually not harm the surface underneath in any way whatsoever. And what's really great about using the pulse fiber laser is it actually creates a surface profile on the metal underneath that is perfect for adhesion for your brand new paint that you're gonna put back on the metal. So the laser actually takes care of that for you. There's no additional prep needed for the new paint going on. So let's answer this question for you once and for all. What kind of pulsed laser cleaner are you going to need to remove paint from metal without harming the substrate underneath? If you've got big removal jobs like automobiles or big tanks or big pieces of equipment that have paint on them, you're definitely going to want to get the LCM 300 or the LCM 500 from SFX Laser. Those are big boy pulsed laser cleaning units. And if you've got smaller jobs, maybe parts that are no bigger than the size of a loaf of bread, you could definitely get away with using the LC100 backpack portable laser cleaner like I'm using in this video. You need to pick the right tool for the job. But most importantly, if you're gonna be doing paint removal and you've got white paint, you're definitely gonna be wanting to use a pulsed fiber laser cleaner from SFX Laser. And I've listed links below in the description for both of these units. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or comment on this video and I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have. Thanks for watching.